beer. Oh, today's it's February sixth. Uh, nine thirty-five. Mm-hmm. Yes, we're starting right, a little late. Later. Start. Late, late start. Late start. How are we feeling today, boys? Great. How are we feeling? I, was I little, feel great. A little sad this morning. Bad day. Bad day for the country music world. To say that. R.I.P. Toby. R.I.P. Patriotic I sh- man. I should have been a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were gonna cue in on that. And sing it. <laughs> I should have been a cowboy. cowboy. What about Wyndham Clark? He's been a I should have learned to rope and ride. But he's like on it. plus like 4,000. Wearing my six shooter, riding my Open pony machine. down the cattle drive. Yeah. Yeah. Started off hot with the waist man. Dealing the young girl's heart. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing I'm wearing my shirt that I, I deserve from running. Yeah. So I we like got to start with waist man. Just like jeans. Yeah. This weekend. Boy. Don't know much about golf. I'll let y'all take over. So we got Scotty Scheffler plus 500. He won it last year. He... Uh, there was a stat that he led the lead. The There's yeah. nothing in the negative. <laughs> and I think it was greens and regulation. And there was five people on the list, and he was one of them. And Tiger was the other four. Throughout the whole season. Most made cuts. It was last year or this year? Reg. Last year. Last year? Yep. So. What hole is that? I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's the 16th that's the 16, hole. Is that the one that people turn up on? Yeah. That's the one that I turn up on. Is where everybody threw like, their beers. <sighs> yeah. She's chucking. Course record, six. Man, so the waste management's always a good, was, good little time. Out. No, it's a fun time, and I'm saying that from personal experience. It was a lot of fun. I wish it was a major, so you could have everybody in it. That'd be a little more turn. Yeah. You had, you had um, digestive problems. You had like mm-hmm. Phil out there, Bryson DeChambeau. If you had, um, what's his name, the jackass. Not me. Well, some hit. of those, some of those old heads are gonna say they don't like it because they want the real respectful. Quiet golf, you know? At the but, end of the day, they're all going to combine in one year. They're, they're going to be both. It's going to You're happen. talking about the live? Yeah. They have too much money to not. Yeah. But live golf's whack. I, I don't do, like I it, do want to... I do want to say this about the waste management. Like I said, it was probably the most fun I've ever been to a golf golfing event. But if you do have the chance to ever run for the 16th hole, you definitely should. And I really want us to experience it once together. You just these are just like your all out balls of all running. You're like How far is the run? So you're running for about a mile. <laughs> but you're stopped. So they they open up at seven and then you run. Okay, and you're just and you would think since it's Arizona it'd be like somewhat flat. No. You're you're going down and then like we were going downhill. I'm like, Oh, let's go, I'm getting getting going now and going downhill. When you go down you gotta go up. So then Eventually. you're coming around this corner, and then you're going uphill, like, oh, crap. Well, there's another gate you get stopped at, mm-hmm. and you're waiting until, like, 745. And then you're running for the rest of the time until 745. And it was brutal. I'm drunk. You know, I will say that I'm drunk. It's like... Seven I was, in the morning? I was there till 1.30 a.m. 1.30 a.m., just chilling till 7. But uh, it was a lot of fun. It's the people's... Open. Oh, you were there at 1 a.m.? We were going to camp out the night, the whole night. We were going to get there like 8 and then camp. But then we decided like, yeah, let's probably get a few hours of sleep. So that's what we did. We got some hours of sleep, which probably backfired in the end. But yeah, we were the first group in line. Heck yeah. My my group got interviewed by everybody. It was it was cool. That's awesome. I didn't get personally interviewed, but I was behind everybody getting interviewed. So you so you run to another gate after the first gate and you chill there for a second. Yeah. How long is that chill that chill period? I'd say I'd say like you know, 20, 30 minutes, because that's when, like, all the camera crews are coming in. So you're catching back your breath again. Yeah. And then when that 745 gate opens, where do you run to? You run to the 16th hole. You run. We were second row. We were second row. The first row is kind of bogus, because everybody that didn't run the high. Dana Beers was one of those. No offense to Dana Beers. I don't think he did the run. I think he was already there. But he got front row. You think he's going to run? I don't know. He was there. He was in his Not pirate a, he, uniform. He didn't run that. He wasn't running. He ain't running. There ain't no way he ran But that. all these people, we're sitting there. We did the run. And all these people are just either walking by high rolling or on golf carts going. So they don't even do the run. Oh, so they're just they're they're cruising. Peace out. It's they're a different yeah. tax bracket. Yeah. yeah. Different tax different bracket. Tax so, bracket. They're, so you saw as you as the, the, you and the impoverished people were running, you yeah, saw we're out here the, the, the fancy people running. We're out here, you know, driving. trying to fight for our lives. You're fighting for just your right to party. drunk. Fight for your right to party. 21-year-olds. You know, trying to get into the 16th hole of the People's Open. Mm. Also, this is off topic. I want to go to this event. And who wants to go to Talladega? 
Tell Lake's a good time. I want to go to the Masters. The Masters. That's another tax bracket. Right there. It's really not that bad as long as you go. You have to get the on lottery. practice rounds Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun, dude. It was a lot of fun, and we kind of mentioned it earlier. Like we talked about doing it like beginning of the year. Uh-huh. I'm. I, it sucks that it didn't pan out because hopefully next year we can get something going where we can go run, we can run, run for days. Are we looking at Seagate prices for the Masters? I was gonna look at the waste management. Uh, I don't want to ruin this. I don't want to ruin this. Okay. Let's do Friday. Let's see. No, no, the run. The run Saturday morning. Well, why does it matter? Well, if you Sunday's wanna... the only big day that matters. Well, well if you sa- want to do the run, you got. That's do where the Saturday. money's made. That ain't too bad. No, but look at Saturday. Go to Saturday. Check the Saturday tickets because they're gonna be more expensive. You know why? The run. Because it's the most rowdy day. Yeah, there you go. Boom. You see that price difference? Do you know how much I paid for my ticket? That That's how much I paid for mine. Just to run? Do you know how much my friend Keenan paid for his ticket? Zip. Why? Because they didn't check. Keenan's catching this. They didn't check any <laughs> tickets when you're running. There was no way they could have checked the ticket. Uh, and I hope I didn't just ruin that for people. They're on top of things now? Yeah, because if, if someone goes in there now and... It's like Monday practice. Yeah, for, seventeen is that for the masters, seventeen bands. But Sunday's probably twenty eight hundreds, and you got to walk around. That's not counting fees. What's Sundays? That is Sunday. That's Sunday. Oh, what's what's like uh, what's what's the best ticket on Sunday? Yeah, go with the most expensive. Ticket yeah, what's the best ticket? I'm sure you get the being a player. <laughs> And that's that's for grounds though, right? That's grounds pass. What's what's that mean? Grounds pass. You can get you on the walk wherever you want. Yeah, I I, I can like be on the Here, grass. You don't get to play the course, but you get to walk around for four grand. Th- lines th- are. I think I should play the course for four <laughs> grand. <laughs> At least so you should, get, you should get a green jacket for that much money. Yeah. I mean, for the Monday practice round, it's seventeen hundred. Dude, I'll never sniff the Masters <laughs> for seventeen hundred. One day we'll go. Seventeen hundred. We need One to get day. we need to get loaded somehow, boys. Dude, I'm gonna yeah, hell no, we hell need to make money off no. these. That's not worth my time. Ooh, Dang. gut stomach. Hey, it's free to watch it I on TV. It's it. free ninety nine to watch it on no, TV. Yeah, and it's it's good background noise too. All right. You'll never take a better nap than watching. Oh, all. dude, you just hear the commentaries. You hear the. <laughs> yeah. No, Excellent no. strike by Rory right there. I've never actually watched golf. You're missing out. You're missing out. I'm missing out on a good nap. Did you not go with us to, uh... Yeah, who was it that went to the... Club. Who was it? Was it... It was me, you, and... Where'd that went? Who was it? It was me, you, and, uh... Was Blake? it Blake? Blake? I don't, I don't know. I don't think it was Blake. So, it's, so it's like the... Ma- my thing about golf is, was like... Was it Will? No, it wasn't Will. I didn't go. Here's my thing about the Masters. No, no this is killing me. Hold on. In- Shut up. Shut up. Oh, okay. My <laughs> what bad. was it? It was Cole. Me. Oh, it was Cole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Question. So, like, you know how at the end of every football, basketball, there's a national cha- Is Is that what the Masters is? It's nah. like the... No. Nah. No. There's called the BMW Championship. You have to be... Or the FedEx champ- FedEx Cup. Okay. They call it. You the- have to have a certain amount of FedEx points to qualify. So, is the FedEx Cup the granddaddy of them all? It's at the end of the season, yeah. But it's not... I think the majors are more important. How long is it, how long is the off season in golf? Isn't the Masters four months, maybe? I'm about to say that there's probably there really is Three, no four months. Isn't the Masters season. not part of the PGA Tour? It's not. No. That's why that's why some of the live guys could have played. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All all majors live live people can play because it's not part of the PGA Tour. That's crazy. Well, you learn something new. That's why they're all so big. So what's, why, why is there TPC? What's that stand for? What's, that's just uh, I don't know that's I think that's just. Well, it's TPC the they, Scottsdale is like the name yeah, of... Yeah, TPC Pebble Beach. TPC Tournament, Tournament Players, Players Club. Club. Yeah. Oh. Can we talk... Okay. I didn't realize how rich these guys were. Have you heard of the Thunderheads? No. What's the Thunderheads? Look up, look at the Thunderheads. Uh, Come on, Jamie. Waste Management. Thunderheads? Waste Management. Or is That's it not Thunder- how you spell waste, buddy. Is it Thunderheads? So, I think it's Thunder Thunderbirds or something like you that. You gotta know the, the people... These guys are the guys. They walk around, not Thunderheads. Thunder Dogs. 
Not Thunderdogs. No Thunderdogs at this year's Waste Management. Thunderbirds? Manager. It's Thunderdogs. It's not Thunderdogs. I miss Simple and Thunderdogs. Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds. Okay, those guys. Go to images. Look at look at these boys dappered up. So these guys were walking around. One of these that's Thunderbirds. Those are the those are the richest guys you'll probably ever meet. Why are they called the Thunderbirds? That's just I mean, it's a chair like it's a it's like a group. Oh. From what I know. The Thunderbirds. So it's it's kinda like the green jacket, but you get a blue jacket. And a trophy with a bird on it. But these guys are walking around. That's They've got those thing. necklace things, you know. And my boy, one of my boys, got a free coffee from one of the Thunderheads. Good for him. But, dude, I'm telling you, those might be the richest, the most important people you'll it's ever meet. definitely some sacrilegious thing going on there. No, the I think... Uh, That's badass. It looks like some Native American stuff. So they just do the score, or what are they doing here? No, no, go... I mean, I, I really don't know what their position is. Like, Go to that, what exactly are they? Um, left, left, left. It was with... Uh, no, it was with Ricky Fowler. Go up. Go up. That one. Left. Left. Boom. That one. Looks like they're... What are the these? Thunderbirds. 1932? Okay. A philanthropic organization. Oh, that's all they are. So, but... Yeah, those are those are the guys. And when I tell you, when, I, when, I, when they walk by, there's like an aura. So they started the waste management. I guess so. It says there's 55 members in elite membership in Phoenix area. Bob Goldwater is one of the founding members decided the group should host a golf tournament. And so the Phoenix... Phoenix so I, there you go. Boom. Perfect. So there's a reason people throw beers at the 16th. This is... this. I guess this is why they're the rowdy, the rowdies, you know, golf event. But... Dude, I feel like golf would be way more turn if they just get turned all the time. That's what Liv Tour is. Heck yeah. And like a couple months before, he's like, I wouldn't go to Liv. For any amount of money. 300 million? I would. And they give you 300 million? I would, I would go out there and play in my undergarments. I would, yeah. I would. <laughs> for $10 million. <laughs> what do you mean? I would go in there in my draws for like 500000 Oh, how much? <laughs> well, that one, that one says 300 million. That one says $500 million deal. The Spaniard became the latest PG2 to join the Saudi bagged series in a five. Well, that's one, that says worth more than 300 So, boom, there you this go. This is the news. Look, they, you look out there and they're like, who's this drunk redneck with no shirt? That's Will. I thought it was six hundred million. They said they offered like Tiger like billions. He said no. Yeah. Well, he made the PGA Tour pretty much. Nobody really he's watches gonna, golf, and gonna... they don't think about Tiger Woods. The people you who don't golf know who Tiger Woods is. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. This oh, dude, I'm, I'm having, I'm gonna have FOMO Saturday. So morning. who's the number one in live? Who the heck is Yoquan Neiman? Uh, I think it's Neiman. Yoquan. Joe Quinn Neiman. Joe he Quinn just won this past weekend, actually. So he's a dog. Yeah, so he got paid five hundred milli billy. Except all cookies, sure. That's that, I'm getting my kids into golf now. Wow. Look, my kid's picking up. My p- kid's picking up stick. I mean, I mean, this guy's a baseball paid bat, a baseball bat, or, uh, or uh, no, we're talking um, about we're talking about stick. If his players. dad wasn't worth a damn baseball, he didn't go waste <laughs> his time. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Go live, and that's more because he's span. I mean, is 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 he still living in Spain or is he in America, like technically? He lives in Dallas, Texas, I believe. Oh, okay, so never mind. I was gonna say he probably and, he's probably gonna get more money if he's. And he's also making money at the Callaway. Yeah, big, big Cali John. But yep, there's not really a whole lot of restrictions as far as live golf. You pretty much just go out there, play golf, and just hit that little white ball. As far isn't as it can. a? I so I'm I'm a noob when it comes to live, but isn't it more of like a team? Yeah, so there's teams. Yeah. Um, there's four players on each team, and they just kind of added up points wise. Everybody plays separate, but the, as far as what you shoot, can you pick your own team? team. And there's also an individual prize. Is there? Can you pick your own so team? So when Bryson DeChambeau shot 58, which is par 72, mm-hmm. so I don't know, 72 minus 58 is how many he was under, which is a, a very very good accomplishment. Oh, so Liv is also playing this weekend as well. Uh, yeah. I guess they're trying to cop, keep up with PGA play the same weekend. Yeah, so they they don't pick they don't play on major weeks, of course, because they're in the major. But they try not to, like the live golf will not have as many viewers this weekend because of the waste management. But they try to avoid all of the bigger ones. So they'll play during the BMW Championship. They'll play during the AMX Championship or whatever it may be, because nobody really wants to watch 
the Amex Champions. So League. as a golf fan, has has Live Golf destroyed golf, or has it pushed it forward? Obviously, you being in. I think it has grown the game of golf. Okay, I feel awesome. like you, I feel like it would bring people that were m- less like into like the seriousness mm-hmm. of golf and more into like just having fun. I need to I need to tune into this. I need to watch. So they're telling me you're playing uh, like music in the background of the swing and stuff. It's live streamed on YouTube. Oh, they make even more Jack, money. Jack, who was uh, Pebble Beach was this past weekend, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who was the guy that set the course record this past week? Wyndham Clark. Wyndham Clark. That he was won the name. Open last year, the U.S. Open. Mm-hmm. I was I kind of I was like it had like, a dog. It was on in the background this past week, and I was kind of listening to it. Yeah, he's a dog. Um, how how do you end up finishing though? He was nineteen under, I believe, but they didn't was that play Friday Sunday. or Saturday. They the game. I mean, the when round he said ended. That. The tournament ended Saturday. So he that he said inclement it on, weather Sunday. He said it on Friday, Monday. right? What he said? Didn't he set the course record on Friday? Yeah, he said it Friday. Yeah, yeah with a bogey. Yeah, yeah, yeah he but, did say. I forgot about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, he lipped out an with eagle putt to beat the to break the course record, which would be a fifty nine, but he shot sixty. I think it's still a course record though. But lipped out an eagle putt for fifty nine. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's what that's what's I've always funny street. about golf though, because you know you play you know one two three rounds. But I saw a stat. he set he set the he set the course record, but then didn't win, which is I think is crazy. No, he won. No, he he won. won the whole thing. I'm sure, if he won, they didn't, they didn't play the last round. Oh, okay, but okay, I didn't. PJ rules if the the tournament cannot carry past Monday because they have to get ready for the next tournament. No, yeah. Monday they're supposed to be playing the next tournament. They're supposed to be doing their practice round. Gotcha. So they would be going to Arizona. So Sunday, so Sunday night they're flying to Arizona. That's what my, my buddies were at the practice yeah. round yesterday or uh, yesterday. So if you think about it, golf is one of the sports that you don't see your family because you get uh-huh. you play Monday through Sunday, fly to the next place Monday, Monday through Sunday, your family's there with you of course, mm-hmm. and you play your practice round at eight a.m. You, you, you make enough money one, to bring two. your wife. You make enough money, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and if you say if you bet ten dollars on Scotty Scheffler to make the cut. On every single tournament, he made like over a hundred thousand dollars. We should have done it. Uh, was it Malcolm Moore is in the process of building another golf course that's eligible to be in the PGA Tour mm-hmm. because their course right now is not eligible. You can't walk it. That'd be so much strain no. on your body to walk that course. No, because like even like in the golf cart when we, me and Blake played there, there was holes that were like, like a. 10 minute drive in the golf cart you can't have a crowd there it's my fault the cliff because like yeah. you're going you'd hit and they would go down the mountain then you'd have to get in the golf cart go down the mountain to go to your ball it's crazy mm-hmm. it's crazy place. Well, it's beautiful it's like one of the most beautiful I've places there. Like, I've been in the mountain I've seen there's just pictures not a there. lot of courses around this area because just the weather's just so shitty yeah Yeah, because you never know when it's gonna that's why there's a lot of Arizona, 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 Arizona yeah Dude, I only got to play once, which that's one of my biggest regrets is I only got to play in Arizona once. Let me tell you, that was a pitiful round. Let me tell you, pitiful round. <laughs> I've never had a good round. <laughs> <laughs> but you play? I wish I, wish I would have taken more advantage of it. Because, well, GCU had a decent golf course for being like a school, and it was only like $15 I for I saw students. a TikTok about a guy that I watched, and he said it was around $800 to play a round at the Phoenix Open. That's what uh. It's more right now because all the great Riker, are up my stuff. my brother in law got to play on a on a on a work trip and he he got to play it like the stands were all set up because yep. you know they're getting ready for the waste management. Yep. So but that's dope. That's what even for around here, we were talking if we didn't go with Mister Farrell, it would have been two hundred and fifty dollars a person. That's just not worth it in my opinion. It's not. I'll pay three seventy a month and I can play as much golf as I want. At Winstone. Yeah, this is for you pay one eighteen. If I was scratch golfer than yesterday, I'll go. The one yeah. thing they do that's but if I'm gonna lose my ball every hole and the one thing we miss spend more time cool. in the woods than I will on the fairway. Yeah, <laughs> is they have a a par three course, and so you walk around with a fifty six, a sixty, and your putter. Yeah. Just speaking that, of, need a this was actually <laughs> this is actually in Arizona too, but uh, these guys, the, the Grass League, have you heard that? Yeah, yeah, I saw that today. Yeah, they're doing uh like a uh it's like a par three. Yeah. I don't know if it's a league, but a tournament. They're they doing. said it was like kind of like a league thing. And they would have tournaments, but it's also for. But yeah, golfers. they renovated a, a par three golf course and they added lights, so you can play at night too and everything. I want to. I want to play a par three golf course. There used to be one out in uh, 
Hamilton Place area. Long time ago. That was that's my, my grandfather. That's over by Chichu, wasn't it? I don't know. Was my grandfather there. was talking was about it, and he said, he said, uh, it's probably like five bucks. You walk as much no, as you want. He said, and then they had vent, they had five or six vending machines. You go around, and beers were like seventy five cents. And he said, you go that's through a different era. He yeah. said you'd play golf. It was five, like five or six bucks to golf, and then he said you bring ten dollars, you can drink the whole time you golf. Yeah. My dad said a lot of courses when he was growing up. It was like eighteen bucks, maybe at the most. You play as many holes as you want. You just gotta walk. Play as many holes as you want. I'd be heck. I'd walk the hell out of it. No, Cavs would be the size of a watermelon. Yeah. I would. I'd buy. I would invest into a golf cart. Dude, I'll be honest. I would have my own golf cart. <laughs> He's gonna bring your own golf cart. I wonder if you could. I'm telling you, walking's very peaceful. I played at. I played at Brown Acres. You better. After Mason's it doesn't make you better. Matt's game. You're gonna need a golf cart. <laughs> mm. It's a lot easier to walk in those, the woods and drive in the woods. I'll tell you, those people can move though. If you get one of those, like, I, I was like, I was, I was playing Brown Acres and take the governor off. No, no, like they were. They, they had like oh, those, old people. They got the, the little walking the little cart. Walking, they'll start they're, running. They're man. cooking with it, dude. They're yeah. Cooking. If you hit into them, they'll start running at you. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those will have the little electronic things you put in your pocket and it hey. follows you around. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a little thing you put in your pocket and it's also attached to the golf cart no or your golf kidding. pusher and it'll just follow you around. That's crazy. With the governor, they can stop on a hill. You, you take that governor off a golf cart and it'll run about twenty twenty five. But the thing is, with the golf cart, it stretches the belts. And so I wouldn't do it to one I owned. Mr. Mechanic over here explaining. <laughs> or if y'all probably know by now, I build stuff for a living. So we can make stuff go fast. Oh, yeah, I'm good, man. Okay. I'm actually excited about this. I might actually tune in this weekend. Dude, you have to. None it's, of the golf a... talk. But I might Yeah, enough out. of the golf talk. We got other things to talk about. Um. Tennessee beat the hell out of not, I not wasn't gonna say that, but, but there we go. Yeah. Tennessee beat Kentucky in a nice little fashion. Go balls. Um, Surprise! The guy the off the bench me. comes and drops thirty-five. Rob well, Dillingham. first off, Dillingham, Dillingham could, is a dog. Dillingham could start in any other team. He would start He's, Kentucky. He started Tennessee right now. Sounds like yeah, this he would guy. Start he start Tennessee. I think he would take Ziegler's spot or uh, Zig- No, no, Ziegler's a better defender. Or Vakosis. Vakoska. Vescovy. Vescovy. Both better defenders. I think, but I think if you put Vescovy off the bench and put Dillingham and Ziegler next to each other with Kinnett. That's a, that's a dirty, that's a dirty starting five, that's I'll tell a you dirty, that. That's a dirty <laughs> tandem of three. But, uh. Disgusting tandem of three. No, it was, I was surprised on that one. Um, let's go, let's go in order. We had Houston, Kansas. Uh, Houston got ragdolled for the majority of it. Mm-hmm. They came back. Came UNC back. spanked that ass around. Yeah, you and your boy. Uh, your boy Nine, still dropped. Two what, days in the college. Then he still dropped like twenty five. Mm-hmm. Twenty three, twenty four. Got that Jimmy bent. But yeah, Tennessee had a better Jimmy statistic game than they did last time. The they yeah, showed. we actually scored points. We they actually did. shot the, the free throw was a, the. Jeremy Kane difference. had twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. He was just he was two games in the college. You know, he was too focused on his college. TikTok and not the ball. All right, he's hooping, bro. What do you mean? You and C. Took advantage of the foul line for sure. Yeah. Off topic, but that man's been singing that song for like the last it's week so and catchy. a half. So catchy. What do you mean? Um, I'm two days, days in the college and I'm three, three lectures behind. There's this guy. Let's, let's name him Colin. He says he wants to be, be mine. It's a fire song. <laughs> pan, pan to Jared's freaking. Warm up highlights. Can we put his highlight right his here? warm up highlights. Wasn't it all warm up highlights? Or was it, it might have been it's high him school. hooping in high school. It might have been high school. And back to the game. Two <laughs> versus USC. We were right, Chase. Armando Baycott is the one. Is, is the, he's we, the one. We said that was the matchup right he's there. Not, and he, he, and he, the, he, he played very well. Uh, 25. Yeah. 25. See, that's double, what, double, double. 10, 10 boards. You take that away, Duke probably wins. Even though Harrison had... 24, 21-13. R.J. Davis still going to do his thing. Yeah. The the Baycott is the big one where Flipkowski, I mean, 22-5 and five and Roach 20 and McCain Kane. with a double-double? He's just balling. He's a baller. <laughs> Part-time baller, full-time TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> Part-time baller. You need to hop off, man. But Flipkowski yeah, needed, ball. <laughs> needed more rebounds, needed more assists, needed to be a better defender against Baycott. That's just what it yeah. comes down to. Um... 
It was a good Saturday for basketball. Oh, I didn't really watch the Kansas game because I hate Kansas. I, I watched I watched a little bit of it, and then it got out of hand, and then I, I saw that Houston came back a little bit. But When I was at work, I, I, I tuned into the Tennessee-Kentucky game. I was at the... Here and there. The hometown team. I went to... Yeah, they got <laughs> smacked as well. Golly. UTC versus Samford. But that was a kind of a embarrassment for a hometown because Samford was... Throwing up threes left and right, but basically they got three tries at every. Just couldn't get rebounds. No, like legit, you could. They pull it from three, it hit the rim. They grab it, swing it back out there. That's tough. And you try it, and then third one they're gonna hit it. And eventually you're gonna yeah, hit it. Yeah, yeah, one's gonna fall. I will say that they that uh, UTC said they sold out the lower level, and then mm. I was watching the game. I was like, there looks like a lot of empty seats. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, they, they didn't sell out nothing. <laughs> they lied. They lied to our face. Mm. But uh, I bought my ticket for fourteen dollars off the UTC page. What's his name? Little Miles Che. Dude, he's the whole team. Miles Che is a baller. He is the whole team. Miles Che is a baller. Shout out Miles Che. That dude's but, a hooper. But the thing is, if you watch him play, he's very fundamental. Like everything he does, like there's no like he don't make like these fancy movements and all that stuff. He's shoots off the pass and then swings the ball. Yeah, that's all. You gotta, I mean, that's all I gotta do. That's all I gotta do. Six, six, go, sports. six sports. He's got six. Six sports? Yeah. <laughs> I need three more. I don't. But I'm also. Smacked, dude. Like, that was like the only game I went to that there was one dunk the whole game and it was just like a, a rim grazer. There well, that's what's fun. There's usually more, too. I feel like every UTC game, there's, there's been a lot like, more. No, UTC oh didn't dunk once. Yeah. There wasn't one dunk. Smack, smack, smack. Um, also, Purdue and Wisconsin was Sunday. Mm hmm. And I don't want to be. I, I'm trying to remain unbiased here. I've only watched one other Purdue game, and that was a Tennessee Purdue game. Mm-hmm. And that was a tragic event. Zach Eady literally just throws bows. Like seven he foot can, one. And he doesn't. He doesn't get called for that. Mm-hmm. But you got you got a six eight guy trying to guard him. He's you know pressed and trying to get physical, and he's going to get called. It's so bullcrap, dude. How are you going to defend someone that big? And then. The way you play defense, the way you try and box out, is the only way you can, and then you get fouled for it. You know, it wasn't his. It wasn't his ball that night. It happens. You know, the refs are very. Um, this was this was a way too, and I yeah. felt like I felt like it was a lot of calls in Purdue's way. There was a, there was an inbound play where, a little debatable on the bump, oh, um, which you know it could have been a, a swing in the last thirty seconds, but. Mm-hmm. Ended up getting fouled. They went to the free throw line and got two. But um, Wisconsin's a good team. Uh, Purdue's a good team, obviously. But uh, I was I was surprised to see you know Z, like Zach Eady getting all those mm-hmm. all those calls his way. Like, I'm telling you, dude, he threw he threw a bow, like not some gentle. Like he was throwing bows. bows yeah, like it was the, the UFC. The UFC, yeah. and and he's not getting he's not getting fouled for that. Yeah. Well, the, oh, I think a lot of it comes down to when you're that big, they give you like this mm-hmm. is legal, but they give you that range of motion. So I mean, he's clearing people with those, yeah, them bows. So I mean, he's using his body for the the benefit of his game. Definitely. So I mean, it's like when offensive players. Uh, I mean, you saw that one foul where he like he's so big. The guy had his arms up. He Are you was, talking about the hook? Yeah, he hooked yeah, he his hooked arm him. and tried to. That, I mean, yeah. that's just the offensive stuff. I mean yeah. that. That happens. Um, also, what I Wisconsin, I think, only made. Fact check me on this. I think they only had three threes and shot twenty threes. Mm-hmm. You can't win a game. That's like Tennessee, South Carolina. You can't win a game shooting three for twenty one yeah. behind the arc. Yeah, you got to take it to the paint. Five for twenty nine, still engraved in my head. Is that the South Carolina game? Yeah, yeah. Five for twenty nine. Yeah, brutal, freaking brutal. Best we had two. Hey, you can bet you need deck three. out there like you, the one you got right now. Oh, also, good news. <laughs> Someone <laughs> brought Jackson's deck back. Um, yep, my deck has been returned. <laughs> it's back in his... Matt was <laughs> very worried about my deck. Yeah, it was gone last his time. His deck got here. stolen, and, and, and someone returned it. Yeah, it's someone back. Someone returned the deck. Those guys are some dogs. Shout out whoever's doing our deck, because they have been going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they built this deck in two days. <laughs> They're going nuts. Yeah, whoever re- returned it has brand new wood on it too. So I that's, need to check. This. I didn't that's even, probably five hundred thousand dollars of wood. Right? I didn't even notice good. the deck. Yeah, I gotta, they I, need to paint it. You got a nice they, deck, man. Is it nice? They they got they're gonna put a green on. Oh, it. I know. I or heard. I heard. Box. I heard. Nice deck. So you yeah. wait. You're getting off the off the deck. Hitting off the deck into the backyard. No, I didn't notice that. Yeah, when I blade my 
sandwich. We're going to have to build a net back there. It's going to be like literally the, what, like the there's gonna be par these, There's going to be doors acres. that swing open on the deck. Mm-hmm. And then they come back to close whenever you're done. What is this, top golf? It was my idea, actually. Really? Yeah. Eddie was like, sure. Is it electric or how does that work? No, you just, it's like you open a door. It's called, it's it's called, oh, it's called, it's called oh. FU money. That's yeah. what it's called. It, Pretty much. I ain't got it. He does. <laughs> I mean. Hey, spin it where you got it. Yeah. 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 When did you spin it? I'm too. The most important. No, oh, dude, quit with that. Super Bowl getting, Sunday. Is it Sunday? Head, um, the Niners and Chiefs are rematched from a couple of Super Bowls ago. George Kittle said he was going to be back. George Kittle did say he was going to get back with vengeance. We don't know about the vengeance part, but he is back. Um, Before we get into the game, I do want to ask y'all a question. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Because it's looking more and more like maybe it is rigged. You know? If the Chiefs win. You know, if the win. Chiefs win, hypothetically speaking, Chiefs win. Oh, picture perfect ending. Travis Kelsey proposes Taylor Swift. You know, that could happen. Somebody's grabbing them a phone call. Um, What's going on here? Yeah, let's say. Hello? As you saying? That's crazy. I have to. <laughs> that is crazy. I have to. That is wild. Anyways, to. uh, back to what I was saying, I guess. The Chiefs are practicing at the Raiders facilities, and the Niners are practicing at UNLV's. Trash. Turf. How? Like, what? I mean, you're giving them more and more of a reason to win this game. Or you're giving more and more of a reason for the, the Niners to come out with absolute on a tear. You know? If you think Debo's not rocking all black Air Force cleats in pregame, you're crazy. You got Juwan out there laying the hammer on some mean bucks. You got Christian McCaffrey probably going to tote I'm, the rock I'm for a, 200. I'm a big CMC guy. Run CMC is going to tote the rock for 200. Maybe not that. Isn't it his first Super Bowl? It is. It is. I saw uh, Brees Hall tweeted his top five running backs in the league, and he had CMC at three. Ah, he right. had he him at one. Two. Brees Hall at one. Oh, that's oh, Brees good. Hall at one? Okay. <laughs> okay, Brees. Well, you got to put yourself first. You yeah, know. you got to. Who's number two? Brees Zeke? Hall. Oh, B. John. Zeke. John, Zeke. CMC, and Jameer Gibbs. Is this, is this for Just this Christian year? Capri with 2,000 yeah, rushing yards. Zeke. Zeke should not this, be on the list. This, no, no, Zeke was toting the rock this year. Is this this year's stats? Yeah. This is... Yes. This and we're just yeah. we're just going to have 2,000 yards be at three? <laughs> trifling. With 21, 21 tons? <laughs> trifling. Five yards per carry? Trifling. That's his top five. I'm sorry, Brees. You're full of shit. Um, <laughs> You're on my fantasy team. Who said he's <laughs> so it blowing smoke God. in the ass? Um, the Jets need to get a new running back. Uh, what, do you uh, what is it that Antonio Brown's got that CTE SPN going on? Yeah. He's hop on that. Yeah, he's hopping on. He's smoking something. But the he back, back, back to the, the Super Bowl. Back God. to the Super Bowl. Um, and Beach on it, too. I'm a Falcons fan. I think man, bro, is just mad that he was in the Pro Bowl, and he's not in the Super Bowl. Which Pro Bowl is kind of bogus nowadays. It's but, mid. Um, but yeah, That's Super Bowl is this man. weekend. What's y'all's What's y'all's expectations realistically? I'm betting the house on the Niners, but I think the Chiefs will win. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. My money's going on the Niners because that's because I, I think see. this is this is what upsets me because personally, it's it's you know it's the Chiefs' offense. Obviously, hear me out when I say this because it's going to be obvious. The Chiefs offense versus the Niners defense. I think the Chiefs have a better, realistically a better offense. Mm -hmm. But it depends on if the Niners defense plays the way they're supposed to. Because you put the Niners defense up with the Chiefs defense, it's a nine-day difference. Yeah. Now, I say this, and the Niners have Christian McCaffrey, Debo, Ayuk. George Kittle. Not saying they're a bad offense. They just have a different person throwing different the ball. Different person throwing the ball. Yeah. And hey, I, I put my money on Mr. Irrelevant. I like Brock Purdy a lot. I give him I, respect. I have more people. Spend that offseason run that, that combine. Yeah. <laughs> the combine? What do you mean? Yeah, the tractor, man. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Points you don't want to grab I was talking about like NFL combine. I was confused. No, the like combine. Like he's, he's bailing right, hay. Yeah, no. But, uh. It's such a bad beat. Yeah, I think, uh. I, I don't have any say in who I want to win because I really don't like both teams. But there's more guys on the Niners that I like than on the Chiefs. I want yeah. CMC to get a ring so bad. I want Juwan Jennings to get a ring so bad. I want Brock Purdy to get a ring so bad. 
that that's just that means more to me. It just got me revved up that George Kittle was on the the bus from the boys beer Olympics. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, there's another example for. Did you see that they uh, interviewed him at the Super Bowl? Talking about the George Kittle thing. Yeah, yeah. they interviewed him at the game. He's coming back for back to back too. Apparently, yep. the Spear Olympics. He said, "I'll get I'll get in touch with the force. We'll, we'll figure it out." <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, mean, I we think need, we need a low down beer Olympics. I would not survive. Yeah, yeah. count me out. I gotta go to work. I don't, <laughs> I gotta I don't, go to, I don't, I don't, I don't drink to like that. Yeah, anymore. I'll go and go to work the next day. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> That's not. I can't do that. Not um, there in my life anymore. But uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting. What's the line? Was what you said? Two and a half. Two and a half. Plus two and a half. Two and a half. Chief minus two and a half. It was two over under forty seven total. I could see it being a low scoring game. Honestly. I say I say the under. I hit the under. But with that being said, you never know how. If Kadarius, if Kadarius Tony's getting the ball, he's the best receiver in the league. <laughs> you don't know how the Chiefs you know, defense is get, going. Get, get Tony get the ball. Out. Get Tony the ball. This is the perfect. These guys are too locked in on a beat right now. These guys are worried about Look, their. Look, man, Kadarius Tony does not need to play in this game. He's horrible. He needs to go back to college. <laughs> yeah. he's, not, he's not a he ball. He's not a ball back. player. He's horrible. He doesn't know ball. He no, does. he can't catch. Okay. That's his. That's his job <laughs> is to catch that little pigskin right there. Can't catch. Can't catch it. Can't shoot. Maybe he's hurt again. Who knows. Uh, you said can't shoot? He can't shoot. He He's horrible. Wait a minute, was his basketball? He, he's horrible at everything, is what I'm trying to say. Can't do nothing. Also, another little bit of off topic. College baseball starts the 16th this month. Yep. It's like... It... Pro baseball starts the 22nd. Mm-hmm. Nah, forget pros. Spring training. Spring yeah, training. the Padres ain't that good, so... <laughs> Shots. They ain't that good. I'm still waiting for the Cubs to re-sign Cody. They haven't done that yet? No. Uh-uh. I thought he was on a two-year deal, or was he on a one? No, he's on a one-year. I'm still waiting for the Cubs to re-sign him. It's looking like he's the most obvious reason to go back to Chicago. They did this with Dexter Fowler, where they announced he was coming back at spring training. Uh-huh. So I'm hoping it's something like that. We're mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, we're waiting around. And then, boom, Cody walks into the facility. He's like, oh, I'm back. You know? I got another left. Cubs go to the World Series. The one thing I just get about baseball. Undefeated season. I love how he goes, <laughs> boom, Cubs World Series. <laughs> yeah. so with baseball, it, spring training starts. But all the games start at like one o'clock, so I have something to listen to for the rest of the day at work. You should be talking about spring training or just in general? Yeah, bro. They just itch you. Baseball in general. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Because you know, it's <laughs> even like regular season games. There's, oh, there's I was, games. I was, I was at work at had my AirPods. My AirPods in. It's such again. a bad beat, bro. But uh, I'm actually. Stuck. Yeah, that's. I think that's about. That's about it for us, right? Yeah. Sorry, um, we're we're focused on this beat, and it's and they yeah. they gave Vucevic a rebound, also, and they took it away. Also. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. Slow pitch starts next month. Slow pitch does. Oh, uh, it does start next month. Low down. Uh, long balls are back. We'll come back for vengeance. Tell you that. We got. We a lot, got a lot of out. content coming. We got cheated out. You. You better see some softball. He, His foot was on the plate before the foot, caught the balls. Yeah, caught. he was. He was. The Jackson first was one. Safe. The first one. A Jackson was smoked out. I'm not gonna lie. I was on the second f- base. Heated. I was fired yeah. up. Um. I. I so Toy Craig some things day. coming up. I think we're gonna add Spotify to our oh yeah priorities. I think we're gonna go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I'm looking at that. Hopefully next week we get that going so people can tune in and listen. Mm-hmm. And our new sign, new sign on air. We're officially on air right now. But we'll um, turn it off when we get off air. No. Yeah. <laughs> we'll turn it off. When we're not on air anymore. Yeah. Someone yank um, forward real quick. <laughs> still have the merch going. Yep. Get some. Get I'm gonna some put merch. it in the description below. Boom. And then uh, I think another round of hats are coming out. So Different colors, more basic. Colors. You're going to be like the Skittles. Every every flavor, every color. You will taste this flavor. Yeah, because I already lo- I'm missing a hat and Jackson's missing a hat. Yeah, I heard you gave his hat away. Yeah, I threw it on stage. Did he get the hat? Probably not. No, he threw it backstage. Did so he... my hat's probably in the dumpster somewhere. Did yep. he... If Gavin Adcock posts a picture of this hat, that'd be sweet. But if that if that but, hat's in the dumpster, will dude, just I, keep that in mind. I fought my way to the front. I took that thing, and I threw it, and I hit the Were guitar player concert? with it. And he took your hat off your head. I told him he, he's on a mission. If he's gonna be on that mission, he's gotta complete the mission. And then the guitar player looks at it, looks backstage, and flips it backstage. So it may or may not be in Gavin Adcock's band right now. I don't know. It may or may not be in the dumpster out back. I don't know. <laughs> <It's> somewhere. <laughs> It'll be somewhere. But. That's us. That's all for us this week. Short little... Oh, well, I guess it wasn't short, but... 
we're in that gray area of, you know, really kind of slowing down. Slowing um, down and picking up at the same, at the same time. time. But Chase Roberts. Will Campbell. Matthew Linden. Jackson Stone. Thanks Sliding for in the DMs. In. Appreciate it.